get a ton of applications for people wanting to join my team and I was sick of reviewing all of them one at a time. So I built this AI agent to help me out. And what this does is it goes through all of my new applications and it compares them to previous applications and rates them according to my prompt. And then finally adds them into my Notion database and takes action from that Notion database. So first let me show you how it works and then I'm gonna walk you through step by step how to actually set this up. So I've got this Notion database. And Notion's great because you can make this public. People can actually view this hiring page from anywhere, see what roles are open. I can just copy and paste these roles with the requirements. They can then click to apply, and that brings them to this Notion form where they select what job they're applying for, fill out their information, and then finally it goes into my hiring pipeline. So I can just filter by positions, I can filter by ratings, I can see what the AI said in their assessment, and I can see all of their information. And then finally, I can link a lot of automations to this Notion database to send emails if we want to interview somebody or reject somebody. So the whole thing is pretty much automated, all powered by this AI. So now let me come into this AI review agent and show you how this works. So this application review AI is triggered by Webhook. So this Webhook is actually coming from this hiring pipeline. Anytime someone submits an application, it's going to do a couple of things. So a page is added, community manager VA, it's going to set job description to that job description because that's going to be passed through into my AI review agent. It's then going to send a webhook to that same webhook with this AI agent, and it's going to send all of the existing properties. So my AI agent has all of these fields to work with. It's then going to send me an email that, hey, somebody applied, here's the information. And whenever I launch a new job role, all I have to do is clone this and just exchange the job description in this new job role. And then of course I can come into that application form and I'll just add an additional option for that new job role that I've created and that's all I have to do as an employer. So when somebody submits this form, it triggers this AI review agent. And let me show you exactly how it works. The webhook is triggered and we get the information from their application. The next step is I wanna set those fields to be normalized, especially because I'm using emojis, sometimes it can mess with the JSON. So I have this set fields to just normalize all of those values. They're loom, they're why should I hire you, it takes all that ugly emoji stuff that would normally get screwed up in an API call and just sets them as normal. The next step here is I really wanna see the resume. I wanna see what they uploaded. So I wanna get resume and I'm getting it from the link that they submitted. So how does this work? Let's go into my recent execution and show you how it actually works in real life. This data came in, it normalized those fields. And in the next step, it actually gets their resume that they uploaded. So it turns it into this data file. So let's go ahead and download it. This is the resume of the editor that just came through. Then I wanna extract the content of that resume. So this extract from file, from binary field data, is actually gonna get all the information from the resume. So if I change this to JSON, this is all the text from the resume. The next step is the most important thing, and this is what drives the whole automation, and that's this application AI agent. So I'm gonna feed it all of the information that they gave me in their application. And then in my system message, I'm saying, you're a hiring expert for Lead Gen J, a remote marketing consulting and coaching company that helps businesses build AI automations and lead generation systems. Your goal is to review this application and job description, and then rate the candidate on the following areas. Effort, relevant experience, good hire, overall assessment, and then should they receive an interview? Finally, it makes that decision. Rules, use your memory to compare to any previous applications this way, if you're getting 100, it has a baseline for what's good or not. Follow the output formatter, and then always output in JSON-friendly text ready to use in an API call. And here you can see we're feeding it everything. The resume info, the position they're applying for, the job description, it has everything that it needs to make a good decision. And then finally, we've given it memory. So we're giving it Postgres memory so it can access all those previous applications. This thing is powered by GPT-5. I'll use GPT-5 anytime that I can especially for automations that aren't running a lot of the time because it's a little bit more expensive, but this one's running maybe once a day, so it's not that big of a deal. I always use a structured output parser anytime I want multiple fields outputted. So we're just looking for effort, relevant experience, good hire, overall assessment, interview, yes or no. And then finally, it's gonna feed that right back into Notion. Now, because Notion triggered it, we're gonna easily be able to find the Notion page that triggered it and then update those AI fields. That way when I'm coming in to assess this person, it looks like this. I can just quickly come in and say, okay, he gave effort, he's got good experience. The good hire metric is five. That's would this person actually make a good employee? I've got this AI assessment. The AI says solid portfolio and loom demonstrating 
Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects skills, plus marketing design experience that can enhance storytelling for short and long form content. However, he did not confirm having a Mac or Screen Studio or experience with Asana, and he appears to be freelancing or working at an agency. So availability and the long form tool requirement are open questions. This is a really good assessment. This would take my a hiring manager or an HR person days to probably do and put together at scale. And a lot of times they just end up overlooking a lot of resumes. So this gives me a really good assessment. And then the final recommendation was yes, this person should get an interview. Now, because of this, I can just go ahead and set an action here. Uh, and this is something I wanna do manually. I'm gonna read the assessment, I'm gonna read the recommendations, and I'm going to say interview. And that is going to trigger an additional automation that's built inside of Notion. Now you might be asking me, Jay, why are you building all of these automations inside of Notion and not inside of NADM? Well, if I, don't, if I can make these not have to talk, then I don't want them to talk. I could have that trigger a webhook, that webhook go back to N8N and just do the rest of the steps inside of N8N. But if I don't have to, I'm not going to. This is directly reading the actions here and it's able to do everything that I need it to do, which is send an email to offer an interview. I don't need to bring it back into N8N to get that done. This is faster and takes less steps. Now, if you're interested in copying this automation, the prompts and the notion table, I'm gonna make all of that available for you for free inside of the AI Automation Insiders. This community is 100% free and you're gonna get access to automations and step-by-step -step walkthroughs of setting up those automations for everything from HR to sales to lead generation to even content creation. So go ahead to this link and join and you'll see inside of the classroom, you'll have access to just about every automation that you can imagine, including I'm gonna go ahead and copy the template for this entire hiring pipeline. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna duplicate this without content. So that should have the automations built in. It'll have all of the fields built in. So all you have to do once you get this is just link this thing to your own N8N and replace it when you're copying this automation. So you're going to download the JSON file for this automation and then just open up a blank canvas, import from file, and then just bring in that template and it's gonna give it to you just like this. And then all you're gonna have to do is change out your API keys and that's going to be it. So go ahead and join us here in the AI Automation Insiders and thank you so much for watching. If you wanna see more like this, please like, please subscribe and drop a comment. Let me know if this is helpful, if this is gonna speed up your hiring process. I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you soon.